Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? I hope you're all having an amazing week. This is going to be messages from your person, from their heart and soul. This could be someone you're crushing on, someone you just might have met. Um, if you're wondering, you know, like where you stand with someone, things just don't seem right. Um, if you're missing someone, but really to try to like take a deep breath, tune into their energy, take what resonates, always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity. But let's get into it. I'm giving away three free personal love readings this month, so go ahead and subscribe. That way you can take part in the monthly giveaways, and this month is those three free readings. Leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of August, and at the end of the month when I randomly choose those three people, I will be reaching out to you through YouTube, but I'll always remind you to check your notifications. Um... You know, within that last weekend, I'll remind you to check your notifications because three people will be hearing from me. And then I'll move on to the September giveaway. All right. I can't even believe we're closing out summer. For those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, we're closing out winter. All right. Let's see. Messages from Sagittarius's person from their heart and soul to Sagittarius. And look what came out. I love you. And an awesome start to your reading. My life is not as together as it seems. Someone who could have put on a front that they were doing much better than they really were or that they had their life together more than they really did. I know I was a distraction from your pain. For some of you, it's possible you met this person at a time that you were going through some heartbreak or dealing with your own um, past experiences, you know, trying to heal from them. I'm going to pull, pull a few because, you know, they're not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. Let's be honest with one another. So I feel like this person already wants to have communication. Put it all out there on the line. Have that breakthrough and be completely honest with one another, heart to heart. I think about you. It's I think about you so much it scares me. All right, anything else from my Sagittarians? All right, we're going to take them all. You bring light into my darkness. I fear you will never forgive me. Soulmates. That's amazing. That's the first time this has come out in this session. I will take action soon. Please believe me. Like I said, they do want to reach out. They want to have that heart to heart. You feel that they loved being in your energy Sagittarius you brought light into their darkness that's huge that just shows how much of an impact you put on their life in their life all right Sagittarius is feelings and emotions towards the person that they are here for you want that passionate breakthrough you want another chance at this connection. I feel like there's chemistry and there's a lot of passion. I feel like it was very fast moving in the beginning. But I also feel that the way you think about this person is like they were emotionally unavailable. You know, it's like being the knight of swords, rush in for the chemistry, the passion. Um, it's like take action, think later. But it's also the action of a runner. I feel this person seemed emotionally unavailable. But they're now starting to feel like you're their wish fulfillment. I, I truly feel you 
knew this connection, this deeper connection existed as the soulmates. You felt them on an on a way different level that they than they were allowing them to themselves to feel. Remember, we have multiple soulmates in our life. We're not meant to be with each and every one of them in this current lifetime. All right, spirit. The person that Sagittarius is here for their feelings and emotions towards Sagittarius. Yeah, they feel like a wounded warrior. They've been through some struggles. I definitely feel that there was turmoil between the two of you. Conflict, possibly arguments. Strong air energy here. We also have fire, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, obviously fellow Sagittarius. We have Cancer here. What is the mutual energy between Sagittarius okay, and their person? Yeah, it's like you both are kind of like standing your own ground and keeping your distance. Like mind over matter. I feel like you're both being very resilient to move forward. But it's like you both are not willing to lower your swords towards each other. What does the future hold between Sagittarius and this person? The sun. Amazing. Better times are going to be ahead. I feel like at one point there is going to be a shifting of energy that allows your, you know, the aligning of your energy. I feel that you both check up on each other through social media. Maybe one of you or both of you have your, your pages open. Um, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever it is that you guys use. I feel like you look at old photos and like memories of one another. And it's like, you know, Facebook is known for that. Like on this day, you, you know, and it's like, oh, do you have to show me these right now? Now we have strong earth energy here, Sagittarius. At the time of the two of you do align, and I will pull a card of timing, at the time the two of your energies align together, um, I feel like you both are going to come towards each other very grounded. So what caused that conflict and that five of wands energy? I feel like a transformation is going on in both of your lives separately with each with each other. Like Like you both are becoming very grounded separately. And I do feel that the moment that your energies align, you're not going to expect it. You know, like I said, you both are like kind of, kind of little standoffish towards each other and still keeping your swords up and not willing to be the person to take the first move towards each other. But it doesn't matter because when two soulmates are meant to be together, the universe, your spirit guides, will cause that shift in energy to put you both on the same path, the same day, at the same time. If you are in physical distance from each other, like a, a body of water, different state, different country, it doesn't matter. You'll both end up at the same place, at the same time, at that moment. Because that's the way divine timing works. Perfect timing. It's like when both of you walk away from your past, issues, heal the past, allow the transformation to occur within you both separately, 
and aligned to your be your best selves, grounded, not needing anyone for anything because you have your own stability, that's when you're going to come together. And I truly feel you both are not going to be expecting it. It even could be why you're on vacation and you're traveling somewhere that you run into them. And it's going to be quite the celebration. I truly feel at the time that both of you align together, you're going to go the distance. There will not be any on and off again type of energy. You're both coming in grounded, so you're both going to move towards the future. I feel you both think about the future with one another. And like I said, you're watching each other from afar. It, it could be very currently that you might have somebody else in your life and they may have somebody else in their life. It's not going to matter. When the two of you are meant to come together, you will come together. No matter the situation. But I truly feel a heart to heart, face to face that has to happen. You love each other, no doubt. But there, uh, look, as soon as I say you could be going on a vacation when you run into them, travel is here. So, so for some of you, you do live at a distance from this person. Cat lady. So you may have a cat. They, they, your person may have a cat. Who knows? You could have got the cat together. And coming soon. I love it. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The soul contract. Two soulmates aligning in this lifetime. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. No, I don't have Sagittarius in my chart. Okay, we have A, U, E, I, B, P, N, S, Y, L, T, and then let's see, the rest are repeats. All right, take what resonates, Sagittarius. The O is missing for the veils. Take what resonates, leave that heart emoji down below letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway. I will be back for many more readings. All right, so much love and light, guys.